Hello everybody and today I'll be uh, demonstrating and talking about how to perform AF micro adjustment. So basically AF micro adjustment is um, adjusting the autofocus system of your camera to fix front or back focusing issues. So basically what is front or back focusing? Uh, if uh, it's front focusing, that means every time you autofocus, your focal plane lies just short of your subject, so it's focusing slightly in front. And if it's back focusing, your focal plane lies behind the subject, so it's focusing behind your subject. So your subject is not in perfect sharpness and you are not exploiting the full potential of your lens. So let me demonstrate. So I'll be demonstrating using the Sigma 18 to 35 mm lens. Um, so if I can just get this quick release plate to mount. Okay, lovely. All right, so I will aim my lens on my table and then I have a coin here. I'm gonna set this coin on my table and I will focus and shoot the coin. All right, the shot is taken. Now, if you take a look at the photo and if you enlarge, you can see that most of the coin is out of focus and the actual focus is actually lying just in front of the coin. So this uh, right here is front focusing. So uh, what you can do to fix it is, well, for one, you must have a camera that actually supports uh, AF micro adjustments. So for example, the EOS 70D has it, the EOS 50D has it, the EOS 60D doesn't have it. All uh, Rebel series uh, cameras don't have it. Now the 7D has it, the 6D has it, the 5D Mark III has it and etc. So you can expect this feature to be in a higher level bodies. Now if your camera does not have this feature, to correct front or back focusing, you will sadly have to send your camera and lens together to uh, either Canon or Nikon, depending on uh, what uh, brand of camera you use, and then they will have to manually calibrate it for you. So to perform my uh, AF micro adjustment, well, you will need a focus test chart. So you can just Google uh, for the focus test charts. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're pretty easy to find, but I have a test chart that I made myself. So uh, you can even uh, buy uh, uh, commercially available focusing test charts uh, on eBay or from uh, BNH or from any uh, photo distributor. I'm sure they sell them, but you can always print your very own like I just did. So um, I will post a download link down in the uh, description below. It's free to download. Just download it and print it on either A4 paper or A5 paper or any size of paper you want. Um, I'll adjust that later on what size to print, but uh, usually A4 works. So if you're lazy to uh, Google for a test chart, you can always download my test chart down in the description below. So um, basically how you use this is you set your focus test chart on a flat surface, a table, perfectly flat, make sure it's perfectly flat or you will get um, problematic results and then you will need a tripod. So make sure your tripod is nice and propped up and your camera should be aiming onto the focus test chart at a 45 degree angle. So it, uh, when it's at a 45 degree angle, use uh, the leveling tools, mainly the grid tools in your camera to make sure that um, your camera is um, facing straight onto the focus test chart. So make sure it is straight so, you want to uh, adjust your AF system to use just the center AF point, only the center AF point. So what you want to do is you put your center AF point right on the middle line, the middle thicker line, and you want to just uh, make sure the AF point focuses on that line. So that line will be your focus point, so that is exactly where you want to focus. And then all you have to do is just take a test shot. So when you review the photo, if your lens has no front or back focusing issues, then that line should be uh, in perfect sharpness. So if the lens is, uh, if the line, the center line is not perfectly sharp, then you would ne uh, need to observe on the scale on both the sides of the focus test chart and see how off you are. So just take a look now, for example, uh, my uh, lens here at 18mm has a slight, uh, has a pretty bad front focusing issue actually. You can see the lines at about 10 to 14 are way sharper than where it's supposed to be sharp. So you can see it's uh, front focusing quite a bit. 
Now, uh, you want if you have if you're testing a zoom lens, you want to test this for both the uh, widest setting for the zoom lens and the most telephoto setting for the zoom lens. So for in this case, I have an 18 to 35 zoom, so I will have to test it once on 18 mm, and I have to test it once on 35 mm. So if I put it on 35 mm now, and I take a test shot. And I review it. Okay, so at 35 mm, there is there are no issues. So the uh, sharpness is perfect. It's perfectly sharp on the center line. There are no issues with it. Um, that means uh, at 35 mm, this lens is fine. However, back at 18 mm, it has a slight front focusing issue. So I won't have to address the lens at 35 mm. I only have to address it at um, 18 mm. So I will go to the, uh, the menu and then I will go to custom functions, autofocus. And I'll go down to AF micro adjustment and I'll select adjust by lens. So, and I press the Q button and it goes in to the adjustment menu. So, as you can see, uh, there are two options for me to choose from. So, I have W and I have T. Now, W stands for wide. T stands for telephoto. So uh, there were no issues on this lens uh, for telephoto. So I will just adjust it on the wide end. So I'll press the set button. On the wide end, now you can see there's this uh, dial, uh, there's this uh, slider here. So, so if I move it towards the left, then that means I'm telling my camera to deliberately focus uh, in front. So if I move it towards the right, I'm telling my camera to deliberately focus further than it usually would. So on the left, focus closer than it usually would. On the right, focus further than it usually would. So just now, the uh, it had the front focusing issue. So it's focusing too near. So I need to tell my camera to deliberately focus towards the back. So um, it was off by about uh, 12 units just now. So let's try 10. I'll set it to plus 10. So it's uh, deliberately focusing um, further by 10 units uh, on the white setting. So let's try it again. All right, and you can see that pretty much solved the problem. Now um, the center line is pretty much almost uh, sharp. However, you can see the line at two is about slightly sharper than the center line. So I will go back into the menu and I will Add it by a little bit, I'll change it to 11. Alright, so now you can see um, the center line is sharp enough for me, so I will consider that nice and sharp. So um, that's pretty much um, solved the uh, front focusing issue on my 18mm. So when you're performing uh, this test, uh, a few things to keep in mind. So for one, let me just get this camera out of the way. All right, so for one, you would want to perform this test at um, the standard distance you will be shooting at. Now, actually, I wouldn't be shooting my 18 to 55 at 80 mm at this kind of distance. So usually I shoot it further than this, but today it's just for demonstration purposes. So for example, uh, if I usually shoot um, at mid-range distance, so I would also want to perform this test at mid-range distance. So I would have to print a rather big focus test chart for this. So you also need to relate the size of your chart to your framing. So for example, if I have a rather wide angle lens, then I will need a bigger focus test chart. Whereas if I have a, a lens with a considerable amount of magnification, for example, a macro lens or a 70 to 200 telephoto lens, then well, I will need a smaller focus test chart to accommodate for the tighter framing. So basically, I just had a A4 size here, and when I need a smaller test chart, basically I have it on A5. But also, but basically, how I do that is I just print, uh, I just fit two test charts onto one piece of A4 paper. So after that, I just fold it in half and cut it in half, and I have a half size focus test chart that's smaller, more finer uh, to uh, accommodate uh, tighter framing from other lenses. So you can perform this test for each individual lens. Your camera will save the data for each individual lens. There's also a mode to uh, adjust it by all lenses, but uh, that's usually when the uh, front or back focusing problem is uh, reliant on your camera body. So usually uh, it's the lenses that cause the front or back focusing, so you have to calibrate them uh, one by one. So remember to perform this test to get the uh, best sharpness for your lens, but uh, for most cases, not doing anything is just fine, unless there's a really serious front or back focusing issue that's really bothering you. But for me, um, 
I left it at zero for most of the time and I get very usable results uh, quite often. So this test is actually a rather optional test. It's really up to you. You won't get too much of a problem just leaving everything at zero. It's completely fine. So if you perform this test, just remember to perform it at the standard distance you will be shooting at. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions and comments, just post them in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next video.